What is everybody, Ron Blue, back again with another video for you guys. I am outside enjoying the sunset. Very beautiful day today. I am here. If you guys clicked on this video, you already know what we're here to do a review on. Do not purchase these. Do not purchase any glasses from them. I'm telling you guys now, I've done three. This will be my third review on this company and right now they're one for three. So 33% of the time, they may get your glasses right. I'm gonna give you a little story time to kind of give you guys the backstory as to everything that happened. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so those of you all who already are subscribed to the channel, you guys already know that one thing about this channel is I'm a, I love music. I love discovering music, but you guys know I love my glasses. I'll switch them out in a heartbeat from one video to the next, from one day to the next. So, and then I've had, I have plenty of reviews of glasses on this particular channel as well. So you guys could check that out in the playlist of unboxings. Anyway, my first time buying from Lensable was amazing it took about two weeks like i said in the first video um no complaints the glasses were were awesome very very dope and those were the classic hunnets those were the ones with the red tint i still have those today that's also in rotation with them um, with the other glasses that i wear from um day to day the second time that i purchased from lensable was really really crazy i i ordered uh what was it I, it was these actually it was the brigades with the g15 tent they didn't get the tent right i had to send it back and then it took another two and a half weeks so i, I went a month and a week without ever having the right pair of glasses they had the prescription but just no tent so i was really annoyed by that process but I'm like, okay, 50-50, like everybody makes mistakes. They ended up sending me the, you know, the G15 and G15, all that means is it's green. So maybe you can see a little bit better. Um, these are a little dirty too, I gotta clean these, but um, you can see the tint a little bit. They, on my face, they look black or gray, but they're just G15 level three gradient. So really, really dope pair of glasses. I, I, I enjoy them now. Me being naive, I said, let me go ahead and purchase a pair of uh, another pair. And those were my Ray-Ban glasses. And I've I've had Ray-Bans since at least 2012. I've been obsessed with them since like 09. Um, when that era hit of people just wearing the, the, the Ray-Ban glasses, glasses without any prescription lenses or as sunglasses what a time i'm telling you guys bob kind of is one of those rappers that really kind of set it off for me um but anyway so ever since then i've been a fan of ray bands and then i've had the nomads i've had the foldable wayfarers the club masters um the regular wayfarers so i'm like let me just grab you know just a classic favorite of mine this time with the level three purple gradient tint. So I go ahead and purchase that. And it took takes about two weeks. Now, as you guys know from my first and second video, they don't update the status of the um of the bars that as far as the process. The thing is that after 14 days, you'll get an email saying from UPS that Lensable is sending you something the next day you know, one day or however you, you know, I, I always use the next day shipping considering it already takes two weeks. So I said, okay, cool. I'll, um, you know, I'll, I'll be waiting for those. So I waited, got the email and finally got them at around like 10 ish or so. Open the glasses up. The Ray-Bans were there, but the tents were not. So it, it actually there was a little bit of tint you you can see it against like a white sheet of paper but you cannot see it if there was um you know like with them being on your face and i'm like okay i i like everything dark and noticeable um 
So I'm like, okay, you guys got it messed up again. And then for some reason, the feel of those glasses are not what I remember Ray-Bans to be. Um, so I think the company is Luxo, Luxo Kita or Luxotica. Um, they own the glasses frames for Ray-Ban. Like that's the mother company of all the Ray-Ban, Prada, Gucci, um, specifically prescription glasses and sunglasses, I'm assuming. Um, so it's kind of weird. Like, so, so the quality is definitely not what I remember. That's number one. But then they got the order wrong again. And I remember before I made the order, guys, I told them in the notes, because you can write in the additional notes, um, anything that you will want the lab to read before they do it. And I said, please remember to do level three gradient glasses. I mean, I already ordered it and then I put the notes in and they still didn't do it, guys. It was one of the most frustrating things. If I, I, I did an unboxing for it, but I was so irritated I cut it short. So I'm like, they didn't they didn't get it right. And I don't even know if I, I if I have it out, I'll, I'll put it in right here. Now I got purple tints and I'm already seeing through these actual glasses here that they are purple. Um let's see unwrap this here so it here's the thing about these these are extremely this is not again they they got the order wrong again this is not what i ordered here so this is the lightest purple i've ever seen in my life it was it was so frustrating and disappointing to find out that they did not get my order right again so now they went from 50 percent to 33% of the time they'll get it right. The return process is absolutely ridiculous because at that point I'm like, you know what? This is the second time this has happened out of the three times I purchased, you know, um, cause it's coming out of pocket. This is not insurance covering it. Insurance covers my, um, this year covered my Gucci frames, my rimless Gucci frames. Um, this particular pair was straight out of pocket. And I'm like, you know, I just, you know, just give me my money back. I'll pay the restocking fee of whatever it is. So they're going back and forth with me. Like I'm getting information that, oh yeah, well, it's, I think it's like a 25% restocking fee on the lenses, but the frames you could get a full return of. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's that's fine. Um, I get that these are, one, you know, the prescriptions are typically one of a kind and they're not too common. So I, I get that I wasn't going to get all of my money back on that. The issue that I had though was the fact that they actually came back and emailed me and said, hey, um, there's been um, a little bit of confusion, but we just wanted to let you know that the lenses are yours. Now, in my other, my second video of Lensable, my review of Lensable, they already, they told me that, but when I was, when I was chatting with them, they told me this new this new thing. So I'm like, okay, cool. At least I get, you know, that's my that was my thought process of like, all right, I, I get some of my money back for the lenses. And um, so I was I was just really I'm like, you guys are telling me two different things. Um and they're like, we're gonna escalate it. I'm like, escalate it to who? And 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 what will they do? And they were like, Well, management, they didn't long story short guys they didn't do anything for me i just said i'm gonna return these glasses give me my lenses so i could just go ahead and when i get them i'll just like crush them i, I will i will crush them myself i'm not gonna punch them out send them back to me they made me pay for my return like um which was i think seven i, I want to say 17 bucks or whatever um so when they mess up and you and you're fed up with it, they literally leave you on your own. You have to pay for the return. You have to pay for everything um, to get it back to them. Now, whether that is to me, I feel like that's unfair. Like they were with, for what is worth. I will give them some bail because I, I want you guys to really make a a wise decision for yourself you know, um, to purchase from them or not, but 
they literally um uh they offer to redo the glasses but it wasn't necessarily just the the frames or the lenses that i was upset about like i said it was literally the the frame of the glasses just felt like cheap like my james orals like these these james orals like my classic hundreds feel a million times better than those um ray-bans and i'm like the the feel and the quality of them it seemed like they just dropped dramatically what i did notice too though was the rb 2140s are ray-bans glasses typically that you can find on their website um that's their serial ser serial number on lensable's website it is zero twenty twenty one forty. So that was like I'm like, why is it zero twenty one forty when it should be twenty one forty? So it kind of made me feel like, am I getting the most authentic frame of glasses when it comes down to Ray Bans from them? Um, I know they offer the Meta glasses as well, which was something I was highly considering. Um, but I'm kind of glad that I just stumbled up upon a new company and it's called mascot well a new company to me they've been around for over 100 years they're called mascot with them you can get in contact with somebody over the phone they'll walk you through every step of your purchase um and this is not nobody's paying me to say this i'm literally telling you guys from out of my pocket what i had to go through with lensable um so with um mascot or i'm sorry with lensable you can only chat them you can only chat them you cannot call them they won't call you um they don't i guess one another like each ticket you create they don't connect with one another so you're starting from scratch every time with mascot i i am i'm very pleased to let you guys know if you guys were looking for a legitimate company that's gonna do you right um you could talk to them you can express like i and again i get that companies don't get it right all the time it's a million and billions of of orders that they have to go through it, it you're not gonna get it right every time but walk me through the process to let me know that you are working on it. I shouldn't have to reach out every time because you messed up. That's what I had to do with the brigades. Like, again, I went a month and, and a week without glasses. And the only time I found out anything was when they were hitting me, I mean, when I was hitting them up. Um, so with my Scott, anyway, I got the Limtosh glasses. And... um. I actually oh so okay let me let me go back a little bit concerning lensable um they sent me my glass my lenses back and it and it was a fancy a very fancy uh case you know that they send them back in so i'm like okay whatever i'll, I'll take it um but what going back to moscow now they have helped me um, purchase my glasses. They have virtual try on, um, on their, on their website. Um, I got the, a, a very unique tent that I think I'm gonna, I, I, I know that I'm gonna love, like I, I saw it on and I'm like, I think this is really, really unique. Um, and they're based out in New York, like their prescription lens, their optical lens company, um, is also, in the same factory so it kind of gives like a lens crafters vibe which is really really dope so i'm i'm just really excited to um get my hands on those i ordered those now they are very expensive i will say that but my thought process is you get what you pay for so with that being said um i will be making another video of an unboxing of my limtosh mascot glasses prescription of course so you guys will be hearing from me soon about that. But as far as Lensable, that's what I think about them. So if you guys enjoyed this video and if it was helpful in any way, be sure to like, share, subscribe to the channel. This is the only channel that you're going to be getting videos like this. Honest, real reviews and unboxings of different products, guitar lessons, guitar covers, reaction videos, and so much more. Listen, until next time.
Peace. Since some of you all are still here, I'm going to give you guys an extra uh, video at the end here of when I first got those Ray-Bans and my excitement and the way that you just see the excitement leave my body when I saw that they got this order wrong again. Um, I can laugh at it now, but I was very heated. Like I, I said I was going to finish it up. I just left it as is, but here you guys go. What is up, everybody? Ron Blue, back again with another video for you guys. We are here with another package from the good folks over at Lensable. Uh, we're going to just do a quick unboxing. Um, you guys already know the brand and the kind of glasses I got. I just really want to see if they got the order right this time. First order was perfectly fine. Second order was a hassle. Um, so I am here to break the ice at this point it was 50 50 we're gonna see if we can go up to 60 percent 66 percent at, at the very least so <clears throat> this is everything that it comes with it comes with the uh box here this these are the ray-ban rb 2140s um here's the lenses that were normally in them so I have that whenever I get LASIK eye surgery, probably never. <laughs> um, now here's the thing that kind of threw me off a little bit was that it had the zero behind it. I'm not sure. I know everyone is particularly different when it comes down to the uh, these codes. I don't know if it's just a cheaper one or a knockoff per se. I'm not used to a box like this. However, I've never purchased online a Ray-Ban pair of glasses. So those of you all who may know a little bit more about these, drop it in the comments as far as the box itself. Um, okay, so it comes in what looks like at least a standard uh, case, which that I'm used to. Um, I do, if I'm not mistaken, and maybe it just depends on the size of the glasses that they can be a little bit bigger, but let's see here have this here the cloth of course and then here are the glasses here um now i got purple tints and i'm already seeing through these actual glasses here that they are purple um let's see unwrap this here so it here's the thing about these these are extremely this is not, again, they, they got the order wrong again. This is not what I ordered here. So this is the lightest purple I've ever seen in my life. You see these here, like purple is a darker color than red. Although you can see a little bit of the tint, the purple tint, it is not as dark as I would like it to be. The prescription is correct, but they did not get what I asked for again. So this is now the second time that they got this order wrong. So um, I am really at this point completely. And then I guess it's just I got to get used to the, 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 the glasses itself. But again, this is the second time that they did not do my order right. It is extremely annoying because I have to go through this process of returning them, waiting for them to come back. And then honestly, I'm paying out of pocket. So this is becoming very taxing money wise um, and all of that. So this is the glasses I'm going to uh, go online and see um, just to double check. I always have to double check and I'm going to try to put it in this YouTube video so you guys can see. Um, that I actually put in the notes, um, what I requested, but so yeah, uh, give me a second. <laughs> 